When Fallout 4 was revealed in June, just about everyone was stoked. And come to find out that the game would release only a few short months after the initial reveal, it made Fallout 4 one of the most anticipated games of all time. Hype is good, you want gamers to be excited for your game and know about it so you can drive home the most sales possible. For Bethesda, the hype parlayed into making Fallout 4 one of the most successful game launches ever. But for the gamer, was there too much anticipation for the game and too much expectations? Bethesda has always crafted some of the best open world games ever, but even they would have a hard time matching up to what people wanted. When you have people saying things like, this is the only game I'm gonna buy this year and I'm gonna take a month off from work to play it, even if the game was amazing, there are gonna be people saying, well, it didn't live up to the hype. And come to find out when we finally got our hands on the game, the game itself was riddled with problems. Some that people who have actually played the Bethesda open world games in the past are used to. Bugs are aplenty, creating a giant open world game like Fallout, unforeseen problems will arise. But this has been the course with Bethesda and with Fallout 4 it just seemed worse than ever before. On consoles, the game has ridiculous load times, the frame rate isn't consistent at all, when we were told that the game would run at a consistent 30 FPS. On PC, of course, it's much better, minding you have good hardware, but even then, the game has technical shortcomings. Those are issues fans of Bethesda games saw coming a mile away, it's what always happens with these games. But for newcomers, it's pretty off-putting. Moving away from technical issues, the game had a litany of other problems. I, for one, was very excited this time around that the main character of Fallout 4 was going to be fully voice acted. However, it causes the game to be much less immersive, and that was always Fallout 3's biggest strength. The game had a world where you were completely absorbed into. Now, that's not to say that Fallout 4 didn't have a high level of immersion. It did, but it did seem something was missing. And then you have what could be the biggest complaint of them all, and while I don't have a problem with the graphics, many people did. This is the next generation of hardware, and I understand. Especially for a game with as high of a budget as Fallout 4, there's a certain standard the game should meet visually. It wasn't up to par with a lot of games graphically, and yes, part of that reason being that Fallout 4 is this massive open world game, but still, at face value, Fallout 4 isn't one of the better looking games this generation. There's a myriad of other small issues in the game as well, but you get my point. This is not to say that Fallout 4 is a bad game, it isn't. In fact, it's a very good game, but this is what happens when people get too absorbed by the hype and anticipation of a game, that they sometimes can't remember that yes, while I am very excited for Fallout 4, at the end of the day, it is a video game just like all others, and it will have problems. Regardless, a game with problems can still be great as seen by Fallout 4. Bethesda crafted an amazing world in Commonwealth and there's so much to see and do that you'll be occupied with the game for months, if not longer. We want to know what you guys think. Do you believe that Fallout 4 was a disappointment or was it one of your favorite games of the year? Let us know in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.